gap behind us is 7.4 seconds. So the gap to the car ahead, 3.2 seconds. OK, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining, five laps of fuel left. Nice move, keep going.
got enough fuel for three more laps. Okay, so the car ahead's come in and fitted the soft tyre. Okay, so we're leaving our teammate by 3.9 seconds. Place back. Green flag. Okay, mate, final lap. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. So, Nats, who else out there deserves a mention today? Well, I feel like there are a couple, but let's start with Aidan Jackson. Couldn't agree more. Jackson had a brilliant race, didn't he? Yeah, we know Connor Sport has struggled all season. Jackson's done really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own teammates. Even before they became teammates, these two had their fair share of run-ins. It's a fascinating rivalry. You can't take your eyes off it for one moment. But nonetheless, some much-needed points today for Connor Sport. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win.
Well, a good race out there again today, Aidan. But what we do all want to know, what exactly happened with Devon? It sounded like he completely ignored a direct team order. I mean, look, these things happen. Sometimes you're so focused on driving that little things can slip through the net. I'm sure we'll find out more at the debrief. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would... <laughs> no, that's, that's in the past, definitely. Uh, we're on the same team now. That's what matters. If there's anything that happens between me and Devon on track, it's because we're, we're so focused on making Connors a success. We're bound to tread on each other's toes from time to time. So issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team... Uh, it was a good result, for sure. Uh, but to be honest, Natalie, there's there's always room for improvement. Uh, I'll be I'll be studying all the all of the race footage and looking for new opportunities. The team will be doing the same with the car, I'm, I'm sure. So you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sports not had the easiest of times so far this season. Has that all been sorted? Are those reliability concerns well and truly behind you? Well, yeah, there was, there was no issues this race, um, so things are definitely looking up in that regard. Uh, I'm confident the team have got it in hand, and today proved it. There's always room for improvement, but little by little, step by step. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. Okay. I'll leave that in your capable hands. Devon, you had a problem with the team order today? Didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. Shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. OK, we check the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it OK? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden, you're the best driver that we have. And it's right for you to put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. I think... Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you've been discussed at other teams, so just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn. Oh, Devon? <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place? What's that? Beat it. Could you take a look at this, please? Davidoff. So, uh, I had a word with Aiden. And? Nothing to worry about. Don't think there'll be any more problems. What did you say? Doesn't matter. We level with each other. Just leave Aiden to me from now on. And, uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't the comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes? Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do.
hey, we need your input on this one. So what about Callie Mayer? Was she on your radar at this point? Of course. She was making big waves in F2. And Ackerman would not shut up about her. 